And the federal government is also ending certain pandemic programs and benefits, including giving extra grocery money, grocery money to Californians through the CalFresh program. So since the start of the pandemic, hundreds of thousands of households in our area received about an extra $95 or more per month to spend on groceries. And CalFresh benefits will continue, but March will be the final month of those added dollars. As Becca Habegger shows us, that has local food banks preparing for even higher demand. By car and on foot, the lines here are long at Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services weekly food distribution. Every Thursday morning at the Sacramento County location near 47th Avenue and Highway 99, people gather for groceries that are fresh and free. We want to get some uh, fresh uh, fruit and uh, some uh, meat, uh, cans and uh, milk. Ying Li is here with his wife Minnie and their eight-month-old baby Hayden, stocking up on the staples. Yeah, it's very help helpful for us, yeah. Helpful after falling on tough times during the pandemic. We lost the jobs and, and then uh, used the savings for the rent and, uh, and the food, you know. And then uh, some uh, insurance for the cars and then and so on. So we uh, get a tough time and then we get, get some food uh, to help the family. And they are not alone. Pre-pandemic, we were feeding about 150,000 people each month. Uh, now we're averaging closer to 270,000. So that's about an 80% increase over the past uh, three years. And a lot of that has to do with inflation. Um, prices are sky high right now, especially on groceries and uh, gas, housing, all of that. Kevin Buffalino is director of communications with Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. He says with the ending of the additional COVID emergency CalFresh dollars, households will see a drop of at least $95 per month in those benefits. But we're expecting that it'll average closer to 215 um, per household. A low income family typically spends about a third of their budget on groceries. So they don't have a lot of additional spending. They'll have to make those really hard choices between do I pay rent this month? Do I um, put gas in my car? Oh, That's where local food banks can help supplement someone's grocery supplies. And if you're in a position to help, he says, donating money to your local food bank is more effective than donating canned goods. For every $1 donated, we can turn that into about five meals for the a community member in need. That's because food banks pay wholesale prices, though that doesn't shield them from inflation. In December of 2021, we were paying about 90 cents for a dozen of eggs, a dozen eggs. Um, we're currently paying over $2 for that same dozen. He says more people than you might realize are struggling with groceries. We are seeing some of the highest numbers that we've ever seen in terms of food insecurity in, in Sacramento County. About one in five people is currently experiencing hunger. More than 137,000 households in Sacramento County, that's 253,000 people, benefit from CalFresh. The monthly grocery money comes from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, through the U.S. Department of Agriculture, distributed here in California through the CalFresh program. With those additional COVID CalFresh dollars ending after March, Ying Li says he anticipates coming back here once a month. And to be clear, CalFresh benefits are continuing. It's just the additional federal COVID dollars that will stop after March.